Oh my god, look what just arrived! I'm so excited! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna unpack the Dan Dursen Xmit One Person and I'm so excited. I got it in the mail today and I can't wait to open it. Alright, let's do it! Alright, here we go! Wow! Okay, there's some paperwork. That's it. Awesome! Yay! Happy day! Okay, so to give you an idea of how big it is, this is like a normal tissue box. This is actually my hand, so <laughs> let's open it up. Hmm. Okay. This is obviously the outer layer, the outer tent, and this must be the inner tent. Then. All right, guys, before we set up the tent, I want to quickly explain to you why I chose this tent because obviously there's so many options on the market right now, but this tent really stood out for me. And um, as you all know, I have a really good tent, which is the Terra Nova Laser Competition. It's very lightweight and at 940 grams. Ten years ago when I bought it, it was the lightest tent on the market. And it served me well until now. And it still serves me well, but because there's so many options on the market and I just really want something new, um, I think after ten years I deserve it. So. I had a whole list of possible um, lightweight tents that I wanted, um, which is like, for example, the Tarp Tent, Notch Lee, or the Stratospire Lee, Gossamer Gear, the One, um, Six Moon, Lunar One, or something, and um, the Zpex Duplex, of course, because it's all over YouTube. Um, but I thought I'd do a little bit more research because I'm a little bit of a cheapskate and I want the best gear for the cheapest price, for the lowest price, uh, but I also want it to be quality. So I digged a little bit deeper. So I chose this tent in particular because it had a lot of headroom and it's long enough because I'm a tall person, so I need something that is long enough but also can store my gear. Um, and I hope to fit in in full, but plus, plus a little bit of space for my backpack in the bottom, on the bottom or on the top. What I want from this tent is that I can easily sit up and cook my breakfast or my dinner, whatever, when it's raining. And I think this tent is ideal for that. So I want the headroom, but I also want the vestibules, I want the lightweight, I want the whole package. Alright guys, now it's time to set it up and see what we think. Hi guys, we are here to set up the Dan Dursen Xmit One Person Tent. Let's see what it looks like.
So the material is made out of polyester. So the advantage of polyester is that it doesn't sag when it's wet. It also doesn't make as much noise as uh, Cuban fiber, even though Cuban fiber is a lot lighter. Also, it doesn't soak up the water like um, the nylon does. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look inside. Easy zippers. Nice, nice looking mesh. It looks a bit cramped from the inside, first impressions. So, hmm, it's not too bad. So I'm six foot and I put my head all the way on the top and this is how much I have left. So you've got plenty of space to maybe put like a, a backpack in here. Let's open this up. Like there's huge vestibules, like you can easily cook here. All right, so you can see I've got plenty of headroom and honestly for me that's important because if you're on a longer hike and you need to like spend a little bit more time in your tent, at least you feel comfortable. Like I'm six foot as I mentioned before, but I'm like, yeah, sometimes it's hard because, you know, I'm tall and I'm sure I'm not the tallest out there. Um, if you know any other good tents that are good for tall people, please let me know because I would love to know about it. Um, but this one is really um, very comfortable for a one person tent. Like I feel at home already. There's two separate pockets all the way on the, on the, on the top here. Let's have a look at the features now. All right, so the tent sets up with two trekking poles and it's got a little grommet in there. Very sturdy, very good quality sewing too. And the inner tent attaches with a little buckle here. And then you've got the inner tent here like this. And on the other side, you've got the second trekking pole and the inner shape, so the outer shape is kind of like a rectangular shape and inside it's basically diagonally so you can have two large vestibules on either side. That's the key takeaway, like there's a really good use of space here. And then we've got two massive vents which you can use to put your trekking pole through to set up your tent really easily. Alright, so they attach with Velcro. And like huge vent for you know to let the condensation out and yeah I'm impressed like this is huge for a one-person tent and as you can see it's a little bit windy and I probably should adjust these things here and um, to make it a little bit more tight so that it doesn't really have that gap underneath because uh, I think that's a little bit of a worry here. Maybe I need a few more stakes. I'm not sure. So I am using four stakes at the moment. And as recommended by Dan himself, himself I would put a fifth stake uh, at the, on the door. So that the door really holds up nicely. So yeah. All right, this is my new home, guys. I hope you like it. And if you have any comments, you know, let me know. If you have the same tent, also, I would love to know what you think about it. Let's take a look at the other side. So we have another vestibule here. Let's have a look what it looks like with the Thermarest um, Neo Air in it. Here we go. Alright, so you can see there's a little bit of space 
on either side and so on the other side we can see we've got a little bit of space left but not too much this is like 71 centimeters wide um, but yeah I was expecting worse when I saw it for the first time but now that I'm actually now that I've actually set it up properly and I'm like relaxing in it it feels like home so I'm happy with my purchase right now so now we have to take it down and put it back in the package bag is large enough to push it all in and one thing I didn't mention yet is that there's an instruction sheet kind of like attached on the inner of the tent bag which makes it really easy you know six steps perfect done all right, so this was the Exmit one-person tent designed by Dan Derson. Uh, first impressions, I can't wait to take this tent out. And it feels spacious, it feels strong, it feels like it can hold up the storm, but we'll see after a field test, okay? Um, but I do believe that um, this is a very durable tent, a very lightweight tent. Um, it comes down about 810 grand in total. So one point I do want to mention about this tent is that the ground sheet, um, it seems strong, but to be honest, the, the conditions I'm going to go camping in, it will be very dry and there might be a lot of sticks. So I'm kind of a little bit afraid for a puncture, and um, but we will see what happens. But honestly, on my first trip, I will take a ground sheet with me just to make that a little bit stronger. We don't often camp on conditions as beautiful as this. One thing I do really like about this tent is that compared to all the other lightweight options out there, this tent is really affordable. It comes down to 200, 200, 200 US dollars. Honestly, I was about to buy another tent that would have cost me 800, but that was obviously the DCF material or Cuban fiber material. Um, and I found out about this tent through the forums, like on Facebook actually, and um, I'm so happy that I, I found out about this because I would have paid $800. <laughs> it was time for an upgrade and I'm quite happy I spent the money because if you want to be comfortable while you're camping, you need to spend some money. Um, therefore, you don't need to spend a fortune, but if you like, if you upgrade your stuff gradually, you will end up with really good um, quality equipment um, that is also lightweight and it will last you for years like so it's a one-off purchase that will last you many many years like I'm thinking like 10 years you know <laughs> but that's important for me I want to buy it once I want to buy good stuff I want to buy lightweight stuff and it needs to be good quality honestly I can't wait to take this out next week I'm going on a trip it's a little bit of a secret, but some people already know where I'm going. I can't wait! Woo! Finally! <sighs> All right. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! So, and we've got a little visitor here. Look at that. They're really curious, aren't you? That's like a little willy wagtail it's called. They're really curious birds. 
so guys this is the first review I'm doing so please be patient with me <laughs> I kind of I like it but it's kind of awkward because I'm here um, in, <laughs> in South Perth on the foreshore and like, people looking at me like what is this crazy chick doing 